Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Now today will be a very good video because today what we shall be making is a snake style ball. I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you are. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Now today with our door knocker we've got I'm going to try and um, resist using the pillar drill to drill holes and such. I'm going to try and do it proper blacksmith style and use a hole punch. Okay. Now we don't actually have a just hole it's blocked up so we've got this wage block which is perfect. So we're going to use a hole punch, punch some holes. We're going to use this for the snake. This is going to be our backing piece that's going to uh, screw into the door. Uh, we've got a hot cutter and another hot cutter handheld one. This one's to go in a hardy hole or swage block. Um, but first off, all we need to do is we're just going to file down some burrs and bits on the edges of these bits of metal just to clean them up. Right, so we just forged out this rough shape here, and I'm going to measure roughly where the centre is um, of each of these little flares here. This is about five centimetres long. This one about five centimetres long. Cool. So we can go for about two and a half centimetres. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do a little bit further up, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do about one centimetre. I'm just doing this, just so when I punch the holes, I can get the holes nice and straight, um, nice and even. So when I um, rivet the door knocker into it, the holes should line up nicely. And now each of these is around to that's about half, one and a half centimetres, this one's about 1.7. I'm gonna go around I'm going to go about one, again, one centimetre by one centimetre. Now, centre punch.
Open the, this hinge and go, just by the pressure of the tongs, it closed it up a little bit. Then I'm just going to grind down this bottom edge where we hot cut it, and there's a little bit of cold shuts and not very nice bits on there, so I'm just going to grind that off and then we can get on to the actual door knocker. So I did say I was going to grind this in piece off, but that quite rightly reminded me that I did say I was going to not use any power tools in this project. That's why I punched the holes and such. And so I need to file this piece off. So there you go. Just filed that in piece off. Nicely so it's nice and rounded. And just before we do anything else, I've got the letter holder in the fly pr uh, fly press. And so, I'm going to put my touch marker in there. There we go. So here is the semi-finished back piece okay. um, the reason why it's semi finished is because all it needs is just to clean up and well the rest of the piece <laughs> um, yeah just a wire brush up we're going to heat this butt up just to blacken it up as well um, yeah clean up oil up add the piece, extra um, piece to it and well then it'll be a finished piece all right so we're just going to get started on this um, locker a snake's head. Now, I've done a video on the snake making the snake's head before. Uh, stick it back in the forge. So, so it's just dawned on me that we do actually now have a mounted leg vice. Let me use this. Just made the swelling up. So now. We can um, start tapering this uh, bolts down into the head. So I'm just going to start taping this down, just going to straight down. Now, 
surrounding this record, take them down and isolate it again, round it off now, all nice and very Right, so we made the eyes a little less cartoony, hopefully. <laughs> and we've just rounded down, or I've just rounded down this um, nose here, so it doesn't look more like a vulture than a snake. So now, time to get into the body.
So, works lovely. Yeah, the rivet is alright, could be better, but I've only done one of these once before, so best I could master it. <laughs> Now we are going to have to use one power tool on this and it is the wire brush so we can clean it up nicely but that will be the only wire tool. That will be it for this video. Thank you so so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I know I did making this door knocker. It was brilliant fun. Um, we learned a couple of new techniques, such as the um, hole punching. Uh, that was really good fun. I'd never done that before. Really nice to learn. Really um, really nice technique. Uh, things like this, such as the, the door knocker, door handles, hooks, key rings, are really nice little projects for beginner blacksmiths such as myself, or maybe for other people that um, would like to get into blacksmithing. It's really nice little projects that you can do just to get your skill set up and learn learn what the metal does yes thank you for watching hope you enjoyed uh, please comment what you liked what you didn't like um, if there is any projects that you would like me to take up um, please suggest them down in the comments uh, please subscribe if you haven't already turn notifications on so you do not miss out on any new videos and i shall hope to see you in the next one thank you bye bye